Today we're making mango Moroccan cauliflower soup. That's a mouthful. This is full of nutrition. We've got some Moroccan spices going in there like cinnamon and nutmeg and coriander and turmeric for just, you know, lots of immune boosting, you know, nutrients for you during this time of year. And this is a great soup to make in the winter time, right? I mean, cauliflower is abundant and we're gonna be adding some mango and that's abundant right now. So it just is such a warm and, you know, just comfort food that you really wanna try. I'm also gonna show you how to get the best flavor into this soup. Now you don't wanna just, you know, chop this up and cook it, you wanna roast it, right? And I'm gonna show you how to do that along with some garlic and the flavors are just gonna be over the top, really good. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. Here's chef joke number one, number two will be a little bit later, so hang in there for that. All right, here we go. How did Reese eat her soup? With her spoon. So we're gonna start off here by roasting our cauliflower and the garlic, that takes the longest amount of time. So we're gonna cut this up, it's really simple to do. And you just wanna make a V cut in that stem on your cauliflower and just cut all the way around, okay? And then pop that centerpiece out. That'll help expose some of the inner parts of the cauliflower and it makes it easier to cut. And I have my oven preheating to 425 degrees Fahrenheit and I have a baking sheet lined with parchment paper so that, that way it's easy cleanup. So now I'll just go along with my knife and cut out each florette. Then you wanna cut each florette into smaller pieces. And then I'll place the cauliflower onto my parchment paper covered cookie sheet here. So spread out the cauliflower on the pan so that each piece of it is touching the bottom of the pan. It'll roast better that way. I'm going to drizzle a fair amount of olive oil all over the cauliflower and I'm going to season it with a little bit of salt and then I'm going to work it all in. And you might find that you need to add even a little more olive oil, just depends on how it goes. So now I'm going to prepare my garlic for roasting. So take a whole bulb of garlic cut off the tip end, not the root end, and then we're gonna drizzle it with olive oil over the exposed cloves. Then we'll wrap it up in some foil and pop it on that tray with the cauliflower so we can roast at the same time. So in the oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit and we'll check it at 25 minutes. So while the cauliflower is roasting in the oven, first we're going to cut up some onions, carrots, and potato. Now the potato is gonna make our soup nice and creamy, but you need to use a gold potato. And by sauteing this on the stove, we are gonna be adding some crazy good flavor to our soup. So now we're gonna be adding some ground coriander, ground nutmeg, turmeric, and some cinnamon to our dish. So we're gonna cook this a good 10, 15 minutes or so. We're gonna add a little bit of spices a little bit later, but I'm gonna add some salt right now. Let's add some salt and some pepper. Now that the onions are caramelized a bit, you can see they've really softened up and mellowed out. So now I'm gonna add some spices and I'm gonna turn the heat down just a little bit. Here's our cinnamon, some turmeric, and be careful with the turmeric because it does stain. And you can add more or less, but I, you know, you need at least a half a teaspoon there. And you can get all the uh, written ingredients in the description of the video. Here's our coriander and a little nutmeg. Okay, we want to give that a stir. Now at this point, what we want to see is we want to see these potatoes get softened up and they're still pretty hard and so are the carrots. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of the chicken broth or stock into the pan. Probably a half a cup, maybe a little more. I'm gonna turn the heat up just a little bit and we're gonna put a lid on this, so that way the potatoes and the carrots will cook and become soft. All right, so let's check our potatoes and carrots. We wanna see if they're done, so grab a fork and press, that's soft. Carrots are soft, all right, so this is done. I'm gonna turn it off and just let it cool for a few minutes, because we're gonna put this in our blender. It's time for chef joke number two. Okay, knock, knock, who's there? Soup? Soup who? Superman! 
So here's our cauliflower after 25 minutes, and you can see it's starting to get some brown coloring to it, right? But we wanna see more of this, so I'm gonna put it back in for another 10 minutes because this is where you develop the most flavor. Here's our cauliflower after 35 total minutes of cooking. This is what you wanna see, all these nice, beautiful brown bits. So we'll take the cauliflower out and let it cool. But now remember the garlic hasn't had enough time to cook, so it needs to go back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes. Now here's my special ingredient for this soup, a mango. That's right, we're gonna be adding mango to our soup, which adds a little brightness to it. So we'll do this easily by cutting off what's called the cheeks of the mango. Now we'll make some slices, but make sure you don't go through and cut through the skin. Invert the mango and cut off the chunks. And then take a taste for quality control. The garlic has been cooking for about 45, 50 minutes, and so now I took it out and I'm letting it cool. It looks gorgeous. Once everything is cooled a bit, place everything into a blender. And if it doesn't all fit into the blender at one time, do it in batches. Next goes our cauliflower. Here goes the mango. Now I'm gonna add just enough chicken stock to make this blend up nicely. So probably about a cup or so. No, I haven't forgotten about the garlic. I was just letting it cool as long as possible because it's really hot and I'm holding it with a paper towel. So you just wanna poke out as many of the cloves as you can with a knife and then just give it a good squeeze. You wanna get all those cloves into the soup. Then blend the soup till it's completely smooth like this. Then we'll pour the soup into a pot to get it hot again and to adjust any seasonings if we need to. Feel free to add more chicken broth at this point if you want to thin it down a little bit more. Soup's done, time for a little taste test, all right? Now I made mine a little on the thicker side, but that's how I like it, and you can do, do it however you like it. What's really special about this is the flavor, guys. Now, I would garnish this up. I'd like to put a little bit of that cauliflower that was cooked on top. So we'll put a few pieces on top and you get that extra flavor. And maybe just a splash of fresh parsley. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Time for a taste. Oh man, so perfect on a wintry day. It, that mango really does it. It gives it just a little bit of tang to it, a little brightness. It's very rustic tasting. It, you are gonna love this, absolutely delicious. If you really like soup recipes, you gotta check out my healthy vegetable soup recipe. I'm gonna leave a link for you right here on the screen and you can check that out. If you wanna check that out, you could just be eating all these healthy soups all winter long. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave me a comment. And if you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button for me to let me know. All right, we'll see you next time for another rockin' recipe.